Hello again, welcome to another tutorial. This is Rick with Simple Tech 888. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix an HP G8 Chromebook that would not boot up. Also, when you plug in the charger on the right side of the Chromebook, uh, the light does not go, turns orange, or there's no light indicator at all, meaning it's not taking a charge. It must have been discharged. So, we'll go ahead and show you step by step on how to fix this after the video if you think it's helpful um, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel click on the notification it will help me out a lot and if you find this very helpful please don't forget to smash the like button thank you as you can see this Chromebook will not boot up once you press the power button it usually take a few seconds to uh, show the Chromebook uh, logo and then if you plug it in there's no light indicator showing it's being charged so the way to fix it is to what they call a power wash hold down the escape button and the refresh button which is at the top um, and the power button at the same time for a couple seconds um, you can see that uh, on the top where the numbers are the whole both three uh, button down for a couple seconds you'll be in develop mode from here you can see the light start charging now um, all you do is press control D once you're in develop mode and then that should uh, refresh restore the Chromebook back to original state and then just follow the step it says to press enter once you press enter um, the Chromebook will start to restore itself and this only occurs on the G8 for some reason. I work on the G3 through the G8 all the time and for some reason the G8 has this problem a lot. Um, even though you charge it uh, completely full, sometimes it won't boot up and uh, it becomes discharged. The old way is to take it apart, um, remove the cable battery, um, that will release the charge. Um, then once you plug it back in and plug it in plug in the charger it will start to boot up but in this case you don't have to do that you can power wash it as you can see once you press the escape and the refresh refreshes look like a little arrow uh, that's spinning backward hold that two button down along with the power this should put you back into develop mode um, here you just follow the step I just show you um, it'll take you to the next step which is to log into the Wi-Fi uh, you need to be connected to the internet in order to um, reinstall and restore the Chromebook. When you do that, um, just continue on the process. Um, it's the same thing as if you were um, just purchase uh, the device and then you have to go through the, the beginning step. So once you have done that, the Chromebook will be able to boot up uh, normally. Um, here, because this is part of a school district uh, device, I have to enroll uh, enroll it into the district. Um, that's a different credential, but for you, if it's a personal device, you really don't have to do that. Um, just go ahead and restore it, and that's called a power wash. Once you have done that, that should put the uh, Chrome back to its uh, original state and restore it. For this device, um, because it's uh, being enrolled back into enterprise, into the school district, um, that's why you see this step. But for you, you shouldn't um, have to worry about that. Just restore it, power wash it, and it will work the same way it was. Uh, just remember, when you do a power wash, uh, make sure you save all your data because it normally wipes it out and restore it to original state. As you can see, um, the device has been um, restored. It's powering up, and you just go through the step um, again. If you unplug it and then plug it back in, the uh, indicator light will, will go back on. So now you are able to charge the device normally. You can do a couple of tests, um, close it and reopen it and just press on the mouse pad a few times. That should boot up the device normally. Now this is 
how it's supposed to be for a Chromebook but sometimes you run into this issue and this is one way to uh, fix it this is the fastest way to fix it and um, that's it um, if you have any questions please go ahead and leave it in the comment but thank you for watching I'll see you again you